In this video, I'm going to be going over an iceberg about a large amount of what the Roblox community has deemed old Roblox. Now what is considered a part of old Roblox can be deemed serious in nature. This iceberg contains malicious Roblox clients, removed features, and much more. Before being warned, sections 3, 4, and 5 may be uncomfortable for some people, so I've added chapters if you wish to skip them. Possible trigger warning if needed. Without further ado, let's dive into the old Roblox iceberg. Finobi. Finobi was a classic Roblox server, meaning it's no secret that people want to play old Roblox. So fans will emulate the old Roblox clients so they can experience the nostalgia. With Finobi hosting 2012 and 2016 clients, people could go back in time and play Roblox as it was in those years. Finobi was shut down on May 19th, 2021. Gravictoria. Gravictoria was another revival server focused on bringing back the 2008 and 2011 clients to Roblox, but when the original owner left, it was found that Gravictoria had a rat inside of it. A rat being a remote access trojan, meaning if you were affected, all your files could be accessed and modified to whatever the hacker would want, and he can just steal all your files on your computer. Gravictoria now has a new owner and is now safe to play again. Energy Cell Energy Cell was the previous owner of Gravictoria, meaning he was most likely the one who had the rat set up inside of Gravictoria. Good Blocks Good Blocks, just like Finobi and Gravictoria, Good Blocks would emulate the 2009 Roblox client, but just like the rest of them, it too would become shut down for an indefinite amount of time. Retro Studio and Retro Blocks Retro Studio and Retro Blocks are Roblox games that mimic the 2009 to 2015 clients on Roblox. They are made by the retro dev team on Roblox. Super Nostalgia Zone Super Nostalgia Zone is also another game on Roblox that wants you to feel like you are playing old Roblox by mimicking the 2008 client. Super Nostalgia Zone's creator is Clone Trooper 1019 or Maximum underscore ADHD and is a Roblox developer and ex-intern at Roblox. Ticks Ticks or Tickets was an old form of discounted currency that used to exist alongside Robux from August of 2007 until it was removed in April of 2016. They were able to be earned by free for logging in every day. Tickets were also able to be converted into Robux, and this feature was heavily abused to gain the system, especially during the later years of its existence. 14th of April 2016, Tix was completely deleted and any current Tick users had would be erased from their inventory unless otherwise converted into the Robux like previously mentioned. Ultimately, this caused a huge uproar in the Robux community against the admins and it was understandable. The announcement for their removal would be announced one month before during which Roblox hosted the Tixpalooza event. This event would have tickets related items that would go on sale as well. They would release a brand new tick hat during each day of March 2016. A hat would even be put on sale for 100 ticks two months after tickets were removed. Guess. Guess used to be a feature in which you were able to play Roblox without making an account. From the years of 2008 to 2014, guests were only able to speak using Roblox's old super safe chat bubbles and they weren't able to be seen by other users' chats unless they were also using super safe chat. Since the removal of super safe chat in 2014, guests became unable to communicate at all. You weren't able to customize your avatar and the only thing you could really do was browse the website and play games. The guest's appearance came to whatever the Roblox profile was wearing at the time, and after our guests were removed, after being on the website since 2008, and in 2017 Roblox removed the ability to play as guests, this one feature was what got me into Roblox in the first place. I remember playing Roblox in 2012 as a guest, just playing random games, just using Roblox Studio to build whatever came to my mind at the time. This is where me being the guest, and with my name being guest in game, came from. Me remembering playing the guest in 2012 made me want to play as a guest again, so that's why on Roblox I'm always a guest. Egg Hunts Egg Hunts, previously known as Egg Transaganza and Egg Drops, were special events that were introduced around Easter 2008. Egg Hunts is where one or more games could have eggs for you to collect, with each egg having a different way of obtaining them. Egg Hunts 2008 and 2010 were the first Egg Hunts and the way you got eggs was eggs used to rain down from the sky and this effect was applied to every game on the Roblox website. 
In 2012, this changed to have the eggs obtainable on a specified game that Roblox had hosted. Roblox would also sell gear on the catalog, such as the Egg Cannon 9000 and the Egg Magnet, to help aid the player to obtain more eggs. With the last egg hunt being the Metaverse Champions event, where the egg hunt was very different from the past egg hunts, egg hunts officially ended after 2021. This caused many Roblox players to be upset after removing such a beloved Roblox tradition. Builders Club Builders Club was a feature introduced in 2007 for players to earn more Robux, and Builders Club was also made so game creators could receive more Robux from Game Pass sales as well, as in game purchases too. Builders Club had a tier system depending on the price you paid. You were able to have Turbo's Builders Club or Outrageous Builders Club. As well as with these tiers from Builders Club, you were awarded exclusive items for different tiers, such as the Egg Basket for Builders Club and the Midas Glove for Outrageous Builders Club. Users used to be able to buy 6 months of Builders Club or Lifetime Builders Club until 2015 when this would be removed. With every year passing, more features would be removed from Builders Club with it all accommodating to Builders Club being removed entirely in August 2019 with Builders Club becoming replaced with what we know now today as Roblox Premium. Forums Forums was introduced in July of 2004. Subforums were where most of the posts happened. There were all things Roblox, help, suggestions and ideas, off topic, LMAD, etc. The user with most forum posts was Valleybot, with having over 131,000 posts. Unlike the comment section under Roblox hats and other areas, the forum had less spam until 2017. This mostly be was because it had mods. The forums had a lot of trolls as well, just like any forums on old internet. On May 1st of 2017, a Twitch streamer known as Quackity launched a raid on the forums, where people would spam the subreddits with mostly vile stuff while the admins were asleep. Quackity was banned and created an alt account, then the admins discovered his stream, causing his viewers to be banned and his alt as well. After so many raids from people, Roblox figured the forum was unable to be moderated anymore, and therefore the forums were shut down on December of 2017. The forum posts made before removal are able to be still seen on archive sites, most notably archive.frost.io. Old Roblox is better. Old Roblox is better is a common argument made by mostly older players who say that old Roblox isn't as good as it used to be. Sure this is an argument that can be true, but via the tech that is used in modern Roblox games, you can say that just that alone can cancel the argument. But where a lot of these players are coming from is when Roblox had a more community driven game where admins used to interact with players, old events such as egg hunts and other seasonal events, contests, gift boxes, tournaments, clans, community made catalog items, etc. Work at a Pizza Place Work at a Pizza Place is a classic game made in 2008 about working at a pizza place and is still very popular to this day and still gets tons of updates. John Doe and Jane Doe John Doe and Jane Doe are official test accounts made by Roblox creators David Azuki and Eric Castle in June of 2005. But if you saw my last vid, then you might know that the joins listed on their profile today are not their actual join dates due to their user IDs being switched around. Name John Doe and Jane Doe often refers to anonymous male and anonymous female. They are infamous for being mentioned in many fake hacker stories through Roblox history and are also mentioned in many clickbait videos which are mostly were made in 2016 to 2019. Invite Keys Invite Keys were a key in one of those revival Roblox clones, meaning you would have to obtain a key from somewhere just to play them. And of course this created a lot of controversy because Invite Keys were not obtainable for many people. Sword Fights on the Heights Sword Fights on the Heights is a very classic game made for the Roblox community in 2008 by ex-admin Shableski, which is fondly remembered by older Roblox players for this game introducing a classic sword fighting gameplay that so many Roblox players enjoyed back in the day. The game was dead and broken for a long time until 2018 when Shableski came back to his iconic game to fix it, and he still actively updates the game even after the game stopped being played by majority of Roblox users. Roblox Trailers Roblox trailers are trailers that are made by the Roblox team, and there have been many Roblox trailers deemed iconic by the Roblox community, such as the 2006, 2010, 2012, and 2013 trailers. Old Roblox Nostalgia 
Many users feel nostalgia about Roblox and the many different things that Roblox had done and did before the modern days. Old Roblox YouTube videos Old Roblox YouTube videos are very easy to find on YouTube, and there's even a playlist containing over 600 old Roblox videos. Old Roblox logos Old Roblox logos are the old logos Roblox used to have, with them changing every couple of years, and many Roblox players are nostalgic for the old ones. As well, when Roblox changes their logo, a lot of people get mad at Roblox. This especially happened after they changed from this one to this one. <coughs> old website design Old website design is what the Roblox website UI used to look like in almost every two years, it changes dramatically to different styles and most noteworthy about these old designs is that you can identify what Roblox time frame Roblox was in, such as 2007, 2010, 2012, etc. But the website design mostly stays the same nowadays and doesn't look much different from unlike the past designs. As well, many Roblox players are nostalgic for these old Roblox website themes. Navitas. Navitas is another client where you can play Roblox what it was like in 2006, all the way to 2011. Navitas is unique compared to previous clients. Navitas has the ability to have mod support. Navitas is still playable and it is made by BitL. Revivals with no patches. Revivals with no patches are old Roblox revival servers that have pretty much zero effort put into them and become dead within a short period of time. Toxic Revivals Toxic Revivals are often when a revival community has toxic players who are generally rude to other users. Graphictoria Replace Assets Graphictoria Replace Assets are when the revival Graphictoria receives a cease and desist from Roblox and Graphictoria's assets have to be changed in order for the server to survive. Roblox Changing Asset Links Roblox changing asset links made it so that revivals weren't able to change links to match new APIs Roblox changed. Awful 2005 Recreations Awful 2005 Recreations are games that try to simulate the 2005 version of Roblox, but often they get many things wrong to how they actually were, such as how the 2005 robot is a player character, levels being from different eras, and other problems as well. Gravictoria being malware Graphictoria was proven to disable malware bytes and was also just being pretty shady all around. Happy Home in Robloxia Happy Home in Robloxia was a default starting place from 2007 to 2013. The next couple of places were just different colored base plates. After that, the Happy Home of Robloxia would get its own town and roads surrounding it, and finally it was changed one last time in 2011 to a more modern Happy Home of Robloxia where the final version received the new 2012 terrain at the time. This would be the final time we would get to see any more upgrades to the happy home of Robloxia. Shredlevsky slash Telemon Shredlevsky slash Telemon is a famous user for being the former creative director at Roblox from 2006 until 2014. He was a fourth engineer hired at Roblox. During the early years of Roblox, he created the very infamous game Sword Fights on the Heights 4. Also during then, he had uploaded many early Roblox trailers to his channel. Stamper Tools Stamper Tools were introduced in late 2010. It was mostly used in Roblox Studio and personal servers. The Stamper Tool would allow the user to insert predefined sets created by Roblox. It was later put into build mode in personal servers. Later in late 2017, Roblox took away the tool's building function. Roblox Horror Music Roblox Horror Music is this classic sound used in many old classic Roblox games and is still known by many people today due to it being used in many different memes across the internet. Texture Differences Texture differences are very different depending on the version of Roblox you played such as the skyboxes, stud textures, and different character images, etc. Reset Tool the Reset Tool is a tool that used to be in a lot of older Roblox games. It was a way to reset your character simply by just clicking Tool. Now the tool does not work because of scripting changes. Old Template Games Old Template Games are pre-selected places you could pick in Roblox Studio, such as this very first one right here, being what looks like a King of the Hill or a Capture the Flag type of map. Then later there was a city and medieval, with all of these being deleted sometime later and replaced with either modified versions like city being just changed to a different city, or with maps such as racing and that first one I mentioned earlier being completely deleted, unable to select them entirely, and thus just being left with the templates we know today. 1x1x1 1x1x1 
was to be a very rumored player on Roblox when John Shalowski made a blog post about an Evil 1x1x part. With John telling stories about Evil 1x1x1, the reason people thought he was a hacker was because someone who hacked into Roblox would somehow make it rain heads and he made messages in chat such as, he's coming back and 1x1x1 is coming for you. Almost everyone on the server freaked out. After this incident occurred, people like Dignity found a way to insert models and scripts into Roblox games, which caused many Roblox players to believe he had something to do with a quote-unquote hacker group, 1x1x1. Shalesky later revealed he was 1x1x1, and even to this day, 1x1x1 is still in myth to this day. Old Roblox Client Search Old Roblox Client Search is a community-based website where users were able to archive old Roblox clients as well as document old Roblox blog posts and even remove features that Roblox used to have. During April 2023, the Client Search made the decision to move everything from the old Roblox client website to Roblox Pelusis. Past Q Past Q is a YouTube channel that makes comedic content based on the old Roblox community. Good Blocks IP Incident Good Blocks IP incident was an incident where a hacker leaked multiple people's IP who were using the Good Blocks Roblox client, causing Good Blocks to be shut down indefinitely. As of today, the website still is up, but you can't play the old Roblox client anymore. Phenobi Cease and Assist Order Phenobi Cease and Assist Order is when Roblox shut down Phenobi, a classic Roblox server, causing it to become unplayable forever, with an announcement coming from Twitter and Discord. Converting Maps Converting Maps is a feature that Roblox has, so you can convert old Roblox maps to work with newer Roblox clients. But when you try to play an older Roblox client with new maps, you have to convert them yourself because of new features Roblox add. Welcome to Roblox Building Welcome to Roblox Building was a game made by the official Roblox account based upon building mechanics. It was up from 2010 to 2016, with the game becoming accessible forever in 2017. RBX Legacy Before Bedell made Novetus, Bedell made RBX Legacy. Before he stopped working on it, he had tried to make 2007 to 2011 client. Player Points Player points were awarded to players who did various things in different Roblox games and was first implemented in April of 2014 as a beta feature. Roblox had a leaderboard system in place that you were able to view on the Roblox website. There were two different leaderboards, one was for an individual game page and the other being the global one, for with the most points in total across the website. As we see, Roblox made a system that was heavily abused and people could just make games where all you do is grind for player points causing the global leaderboard to just be an extremely high player points. Due to the system lacking features and a way to prevent the millions of player points being earned because of this, the all-time leaderboard and the today sections were removed in late 2017 causing players to be confused until the leaderboard system was removed in 2018. And player points could still be seen in some Roblox games until 2023 when player points were removed entirely. There was even an item made for player points called the Star Player Headphone. LEGO Cease and Assist At one point or another, Roblox had received a cease and assist from LEGO in the late 2000s or early 2010s. Due to Roblox studs resembling LEGO bricks during the early years of Roblox, to comply with the order received from LEGO, Roblox would change from more round studs to more square studs with their logo replacing the LEGO look the old studs had had. Clans Clans is a discontinued feature where users could create their own clan for 500 Robux. If you bought one, you and your group could earn a ranking on the leaderboard. Clans were removed on January 23rd of 2019, and all users who bought a clan were refunded their Robux. Knockouts Knockouts was an old feature where you could earn badges based upon how many kills you got in Roblox games. Poker God, a popular user from 2006, was the first person to achieve 10,000 knockouts, causing Roblox to award him the Black Iron Crown Appendage, a very rare and classic hat that only 5 people own today for his great accomplishment. Knockouts used to appear on your Roblox profile before the feature was moved in July of 2015 with the badges being left on the website but becoming unattainable. Polygon Polygon was a Roblox revival of 2009 and 2012 versions of Roblox now being shut down. Rainway Another revival being based on 2010. Rainway was closed for a time being while well, it becomes redone. Phenobi Virus Rumors 
There are multiple rumors about Zenobi being a virus. I cannot confirm whether the rumors are true or false. Chaos Cannon Chaos Cannon is another classic brick battle Roblox game made by Chetleski in 2006, but hosted under the Roblox account and is one of the first Roblox games created on the Roblox platform. The game was made in collaboration with community created models from users Pilot Luke, Tanksy222, and Yahoo. Chaos Cannon was popular in its prime years of 2006 2009, but remained unpopular after, unlike their counterparts, Crossroads and Rocket Arena. During 2017, the game was closed for an unknown reason, and you still can't visit the game today. Old Roblox Physics Old Roblox physics were very different than old Roblox compared to today. Your character would glitch out, and also a lot of time you can be randomly fling in the air. Security holes. Many old Roblox clients have security holes in them, ranging from minor to major. Area 51 slash Underground Base. Underground Base is a game made by Icy Fresh in 2008, and after getting hacked, the model of the entire map was leaked and it spread all over the Roblox website, causing anyone to create those Area 51 maps we know today, and this is why we see the same map in so many Roblox games. 2012 April Fool's Hack 2012 April Fool's Hack has been explained to death so many times, so this is going to be very brief. But what happened is when hackers got access to the admin panel, they were able to change many things on Roblox, such as making their own custom banner messages, releasing Roblox items early, banning and unbanning famous users, duplicating rare items, and even uploading their own custom faces to the website. Their accounts were later banned and Roblox was restored, but even today there remains artifacts from the incident, such as some of the rarest limiteds being made from that time, and those two faces they uploaded still remain on the Roblox website to this day. Cheat Engine Hacking People were able to use a common cheat engine to cheat in the older versions of Roblox. Pizza Boxer Pizza Boxer is the owner of Polygon, an admin of Tada, as well, they are responsible for owning the old Pizza Boxer website. Morgan McGuire Morgan McGuire was the original creator of the G3D engine, which was used for creation of the early 2004-2005 official Roblox clients. Sandbox Sandbox was a building game that was popular in 2008. G3D Fun G3D Fun was a lesser known client to simulate the 2004 version of Roblox. Roblox Footage Archives Roblox Footage Archives was a deleted YouTube channel that had hosted an old Roblox ARG and it was believed that Novetas, Retroblox, and old clients were used to make the footage in these videos. Fenobi Shutdown caused rumors. Fenobi shutting down caused many rumors for what the real reason was for the shutdown. RBLX04 RBLX04 is a Roblox game that attempts to simulate 2004 Roblox. Roblox Hub slash Roblox Lock Roblox Hub slash Roblox Lock were revivals that had 2006 to 2021 versions of Roblox. They both have since been shut down. Early 2006 Starter Place Originally the starting place was just a blue base place, just a chair, a table, and a single bed from January to April of 2006. Toolbox Models Toolbox has many models that uses a controller function, the old version for how most vehicles had worked from 2004 to 2009. Roblox used the controller function until the feature was later removed entirely with vehicle seats replacing them in 2009. Sprees Sprees was a myth game that featured in Fenobi where Sprees and other NPCs would ask you random questions and say random phrases to you until after a while Sprees would say to follow them. After them saying that, everyone would freeze in the server, and you would be kicked from the game. After Fenobi shut down, this game has since been lost to time. Google Videos Before YouTube was a mainstream video sharing service it is today, there was once a time when there were other websites to share videos, and one such one was Google Videos. And many Roblox players had uploaded their Roblox videos to Google Videos. And this is how a lot of old Roblox footage was recovered. Old.pizzaboxer.xyz Old.pizzaboxer.xyz is a website that hosts archives of many old Roblox recreations, mini games. Before what we know today as our player character, before 2006, during the years of 2003 to 2005, the way Roblox operated was instead of a player character, there were player controllers, and so the only games that were possible to play were mini games. 
These mini games were very simple and were pretty similar to each other in nature. With most of all, you controlled the camera, more like in the early years of Roblox compared to now. Mercury. Mercury was an old Roblox client recreation of 2013 and was merged with Polygon later on, thus discontinuing the first version of Mercury. Voxel Terrain. Ah, uh, Voxel Terrain. I swear this one feature is what got me so intrigued about Roblox when I played it as a guest in 2012. Voxel Terrain was introduced in 2011 and it used meshes to render terrain and voxels are the same way terrain in Minecraft is generated. Imagine if Roblox went down a different path and decided to continue and they decided to expand this feature. And modern Roblox could have looked a lot different today. But Roblox would end up discontinuing this feature in 2017 in favor of smooth terrain. GIFs I already explained what GIFs are in my History of Roblox Hats video, so I'll briefly explain them here. GIFs were a discontinued hat series where Roblox players could do certain tasks or buy these gifts with Robux, and you would receive an item different from the gift box later on. The last gift explosion had happened in 2017 with very few items, and even you wouldn't even be able to keep the gift boxes after it opened. Instead, the gift box would just be transformed into the item. Holiday Giveaway 2017 was the last time we saw Roblox giving out gift boxes. Polygon IP Incident there was an incident that had happened with Polygon causing multiple users of Polygon to have their IP leak. Junior BX Junior BX is most likely a very dead Roblox revival. I don't even know what Roblox era it would try to recreate. Itablox Itablox is another revival that was for 2016 and currently their website seems to be shut down for the time being. Is 2016 old Roblox? Depending on how old you are and how long ago you joined Roblox, some people could consider 2016 Roblox to be old Roblox. But in 2018, I remember the same question was asked with 2014 Roblox, and back then, 2014 wasn't considered old Roblox. Heck, I joined back in early 2016, but until then, I was a guest from 2012 to 2015, so what I consider old was anything 2013 and older back then. But now, I think older Roblox is anything 2015 and older. So he changes the age, but for 2016, it's not old Roblox. Heck, I even seen people call 2017 Roblox old Roblox. But I think I'll never call old Roblox 2017. Blame John. Blame John was an old phrase that was started by former moderator for the forum Sorka, formerly XLegoX. It started by an out of context quote by him on a forum post. The saying Blame John seems to have come from the fact that Shadlevsky had a chance to have complete control over the Roblox website and just wreck havoc over the site without any form of punishment on the site. The phrase had only gained more popularity in 2010 after items released on the catalog such as Blame John, Hi, and the protest sign Blame John. Shadlevsky furthermore can be seen keeping the saying alive with him often wearing the iconic Blame John t-shirt on his Roblox avatar still can be seen wearing it today. Nevermore's Blight Nevermore's Blight was an old game made by Shedlesky. It features planes, a building, and killbot. Amy Model Warning, this entry is NSFW, so skip to this timestamp instead if you're sensitive. With the warning in place, the Amy Model was a Roblox model that would follow you, and let's just say she would say untasteful things to you it would start doing inappropriate things to you. 2006-2007 Shaders The 2006-2007 Shaders have hidden shaders in them that make those clients very unique to the time and aren't present in modern Roblox. Alpha Land Alpha Land is a 2016 revival and it is speculated to have a virus in it. 2005 User Date Change Users who joined in 2004 and 2005 had their user date changed to 2006. And I talk more about this in my the first 100 Roblox users video. Rocks Olb. Rocks Olb was an archive of old Roblox images and screenshots, and unfortunately, it no longer works. Roblox footage archives, but it's real. Roblox footage archives, but it's real is a channel that uploads real gameplay of old Roblox from the years of 2005, 2006, 2007, 2008, 2009, and is where I get most of my old Roblox footage from in my videos. Tada! Tada was a revival that is created by Pascu, 
with it having 2010, 2012, and 2014, and it was planned to have 2016 as well before it was shut down randomly, and it was unable to be accessed for a short period of time before the site and the Discord were brought back online, just with the users being reset. Old Roblox OST all old Roblox audio uploaded by admins in 2013 and earlier is considered the old Roblox OST by some. Raw Dom Raw Dom was a revival that had 2007 and 2011 clients, and it was revealed to have malware inside of it towards the end of its lifespan. Raw Dom has since shut down and is commonly used by the ORC community as an example of rat revivals. Meteorite Meteorite is a revival that has a 2016 client, My Roblox. My Roblox is a revival on Roblox, with the 2008 client being remade on Roblox. The game used to have a thriving player base, but due to the lack of interest over time and less and less updates happening, the game is either always on low player counts or just dead completely. 2012 Studio Exploit In 2012, People use teleporters to glitch their toolbox or otherwise keep their building tools. This glitch has since been patched. RCC Service RCC Service is a service that would run old Roblox servers and it had helped many revivals to bring back old Roblox. Roblox Patents Before Roblox was made in 2003, Roblox had made patents that were already made for it. Ghost Sword Illumina Ascending Glitch A glitch where if a player spammed the Ghost Sword and Illumina Sword, a whole bunch you would end up ascending into the sky forever, without ever going to go down until a player would reset themselves. 2005 was based on a website. Edifins suggests that 2005 Roblox was partially based on a website instead of a game. Fake 2004 logo. There's a logo that resembles GoBlox, possibly an old name and logo for Roblox, but this is not real, it is fake. Chronicles of the ORC. Chronicles of the ORC is a YouTube documentary styled YouTube channel about old Roblox revivals. Despite a video on the channel stating it's still in progress, the video itself has been deleted, and it has been stated that Chronicles of the ORC is discontinued. Me Winner Me Winner is a video that has an entity in it. The reason why Me Winner is in the video is unknown. I see is no correlation to the video at all. Mysterious Footsteps and Play Solo Multiple people have claimed that they hear footsteps when they are playing Roblox by themselves, but this is just their imagination. Roblox Footage Archives is Real Roblox Footage Archives is Real is another channel claiming the footage that they upload is authentic, but it most likely isn't true. Xscape Xscape is a Roblox revival made by Seven for the 2016 version of Roblox. Xscape had been discovered to be a rat. Xscape now has a revised version that is no longer malicious. IDK16 IDK16 is another revival for the 2016 Roblox client, but what makes it unique from the others is this client is for Android instead of PC. Starmarine64 Starmarine64 is a YouTuber who makes videos about revivals. Sapo Sapo is an old player featured in a blog post featuring the first hair being tested on Roblox in 2007, and hair would not become a feature until 2009. Mike Rayhawk Mike Rayhawk is a concept artist for Roblox from 2005 to 2009, and he even was a person who made many of the first Roblox graphics, such as these ones here and the original 2006 Roblox logo. Tanda IP Leakage On April 2nd of 2022, user XIXI used an exploit into Dada's clients and was able to steal other players' IPs and leak them. Account Creation Message Builderman needs to send you a message when signing up during old Roblox instead of Roblox. The Pit The Pit is a rumored Roblox game. It had consisted of a green base plate and a giant pit, and if you were to jump into the pit, the game would close and your Roblox account would become banned with the message, You are not welcome here. Fake 2006 build. Fake 2006 build was alleged that 2006 build of Roblox, but in reality it was fake. Old Roblox Wiki. Before the Roblox Wiki, fandom, and developer.roblox.com, there was an old Roblox Wiki for Roblox. Super Safe Chat. You might have heard of me speaking about this feature earlier. Super Safe Chat was added in March of 2007 for Roblox to comply with COPPA. It made it so that users who are under the age of 13 from typing custom messages in chat, as well as seeing custom messages and chats from other users. The way it worked, it allowed users another way to communicate in Roblox, 
by pressing this button on the screen. You say a whole bunch of random predefined phrases from subtopics within it. Super Safe Chat was an old remedy of the past and was removed in 2014. Polytoria used to be a Roblox revival. Before Polytoria was an old Roblox ripoff, it used to be a revival. Interactive Physics Interactive Physics was a precursor to Roblox that started in 1989. Forgotten Old Roblox Games Many Roblox games from the past have been forgotten in time, due to them not getting much traction as they used to have. Problem User On October 17, 2006, Talmon or aka Shedletsky would leave a post on the GameDev.net forum asking what the best way to ban users is, and Talmon would state the following. Hi there, our casual online game has reached a milestone today. We need to ban our first problem user. Ideally, I would like to ban him from both playing the game, the game is played on the downloader at EXE, and posting in our online forums. Still to this day, we have no idea who this problem user is, or what he did in the first place for Shalevsky to go out of his way to start figuring out how he should go about banning users. Negative Aura of Old Roblox When people discuss old Roblox sometimes, people say that it has a negative aura and can possibly evoke negative emotions. Controllable Characters Planned Controllable characters were not in Roblox until 2006, but mention of controllable characters can be seen in this screenshot, during the beta of Roblox that took place in 2005, and that one is one of the most requested features at the time. Minigames will never be found. There's a large chance that the original minigames seen here in 2004 and 2005 that were the first Roblox games are most likely to never be found, either because original minigame IDs can't be located, lost, taken down, moved, or even hidden. R15 existed in 2016. If you look at the files of late 2016 builds, you can see R15 appear as well. R15 was also available in a few testing places before the official release. The original Roblox community is dying. Some people think that the old Roblox community is dying. I believe people think this way because as the older players from that time get older and move on to other things in life, the ORC community is dying. While this could be true, Many new Roblox players are interested in old Roblox and therefore want to join the community, so this counteracts the previous argument. Semicolon EC By typing the command semicolon EC on your keyboard was a previous way how you used to reset your character in, or in older versions of Roblox prior to 2013. This feature has since been replaced by the reset button in the Roblox menu. Old Roblox Psychops this is pretty much the idea of Roblox hiding information about their older clients, such as the Neo Classic and Classic avatars, that don't even resemble old Roblox clients. An example of this being Mike Greyhawk's never seen before player concepts for avatars that were possible to become avatars in the future, with these avatars being nothing more than concepts from February and March of 2006. Ultimate.rblx is a place that is rumored to have every asset from Roblox, including ones that have not even been made yet. This came from a myth in the RFA Mythverse community. 2005 will never be found. The real 2005 Roblox client possibly might never be found because if 2005 was based on a website instead of a client, then there's a chance that the 2005 version of Roblox might not be found completely. RFA Dynablox beta build leaks real. Dynablox beta build was leaked in an RFA video known to have a dead mega.nz link. However, there are multiple people who claim that they got the, a copy of the leak before it became invalid. There's a possibility that the leak could have been real, perhaps. 2005 client is a cognito hazard. The RFA wiki has made a suggestion that the 2005 client was harmful and dangerous to its users. This, however, is unknown due to the 2005 client never being found. Eblox is a supposed name for the beta of Roblox and was proposed by the client search. Also during October 2003, on David Bazuki's website, www.bazuki.com, mentions the name Eblox. The truth about old Roblox. Okay, you really want to know? Well, you're not alone. Since 2006, you were never really alone. 
Those RFA videos, those were the actual recreations of what the creator saw. Telma n never really quit Roblox. It was all just an excuse for more people to play. Me winner, Sprees, problem user? Those are all just players who found out about the truth and now trapped in the game forever. That 2012 studio hack that was just a warning from a trapped player who knew how to time travel. You know, the forums were shut down for a reason. One leak of the truth and everyone would realize, and you know, I was wrong about the minigames never becoming found. All of them, and I mean all of them, are mimetric hazards designed to kill players who found out the truth. Tell him on, he's in on it. Those are those bots. All those bots. And oh, all that red static? It was an actual part of the 2005 client. It was not just an ARG. Anyways, back on track. The truth about old Roblox. It's all of a kid. You're always being watched. Every time you play old Roblox. All your, all your data is being transferred onto the 